But finally, the moment is upon them. One of their greatest nemesis, and they've had to come over the bridge to face them. Here we go then. England against Wales in round two of the Guinness Women's Six Nations is underway, and it's taken deep. Big run in this time. Jones manages to find Fleming. Quinslock again offering herself to carry. Now, once again, you can see that Lakey George is trying to force a few things here. She knew she had the penalty in her back pocket, though, and Wales will come back. An incredibly bright start here for Wales, and they have an opportunity also to be the first with points on the board. George then doesn't need to spend too long with that, and that is a strong start from Wales. They've taken their chances. Hunt finds the 50 capper in Allcroft. Hunt again. Lost a half replay. This time Muir manages to work it out. The captain Packer somehow gets that one away, and we've got women out there. Flying away is Abby Dow. Is anyone going to stop her? What a step from Dow. They're trying everything to stop her going. She's inches from the line. They need to spin it out. More Muir. Surely that's over. And England strike back at the first opportunity. They get into a key territorial position and manage to get on that outside edge. Now, after this initial collision here, they get the ball away. You can see Karen Lake tracking across, pushing really well. But Abby Dow just got the pace on the outside edge, managing to make a bit of a scramble tackle at the end. But when you've got such a powerful and direct runner like Maud, Maud Muir coming through like that, she's very difficult to hold out. He took quite a few in WXV for them. And that one's come off the post. So it remains just a two-point game here at Ashton Gates. Good 10 metres for England still to travel here to get this one exactly where they want it. Long pass that back. What a great throw from Atkin Davis to Gallagher. Now Bottomham, now Packer. Wonderful communication by the Roses. Slow ball again, though. Matthews right through the middle. Have they got one more in them? Passes it out. Towering through. England score their second. And it is... Croft who touches down on a 50th cap and England extend their lead. It's the speed of this man out right to the tail and then everybody knows their roles. Marley Packer with the first carry and it's the speed of these forwards getting into shape. Thought Wells did a very good job of slowing that break down but then again England just generate quick ball. Alex Matthews, great leg drive. She's in behind Mo Hunt and you've got people queuing up there. I think Hannah Butterman thought she was in in that end but England's speed when they get going. Lachson lines up her second attempt of the afternoon. You could just hear the strong strike of the ball there. Don't know if she's going to have something fed in or not. As the balls come out in the English direction, and here's the breakaway with Meg Jones. She's going to hack that one on. Chasing on this near side, Breach is there. Kildun is there. Breach has to slow to gather the ball. It's a slower ball here from England, but they're happy to wait. They're going to bide their time. Matthews driving straight into so many red shirts in front of her. Still a metre to travel. Bottom and again is over the top and down. Hannah Bottom. She got the opening try last week against Italy. And she's scoring again at her home ground. Doesn't really tell the tale of the half. Oh, there's a big push. Wales are going to have to get this one out. It's a penalty to England. Huge shove by the forwards. They get their reward. And here they are flying through the sky as well. All cropped. She's got one try. She's now driving this one forward. A warning for Wales there to get round on the right side. Entry. Another Again. penalty advantage for England now. Can they finish the job before they have to use it? The ball's in there somewhere. It's a huge mess of bodies. Try given. England rack up a bonus point before the half-time whistle. And it is Lark Atkins-Davis who goes over. 
bit of pressure raining down on the England kickers at the moment. And so that one just goes to the right-hand side of the upright. So she remains two from four, but it's been a half that has all been about the Red Roses on the scoreboard, but that doesn't say anything for the effort that Wales have put in. Tackle! Hannah Bottomant needs to place advantage. it back. It's penalty advantage to England, and there's another red hand in there. Hunt wants to go quickly. Is she over? Shot. Gallagher is there. She can see Bottom and Amya offering themselves. They spin towards the other side. Kildun has it. Kildun scores. Manages to score in the corner. Look at that. Forwards interlinking with backline play. The dummy on the pass just gives the defender a little bit of doubt in her mind. That allows her to break through. Look at that. Lisa Newman almost had her hands on the ball, but Ellie Kildun manages to get over. Great stretch there from Kildun. So out on that far side then, Aitchison. Oh, it's bounced off the post. She's had a couple now that have bounced there. Another bit of a tangle of bodies out there, but it's her spins through over. them and she takes gain line with her as she goes. Kildun forces out to the far side. Breach has it. Back inside to Kildun. Really nice link play by the England backs. Oh, here comes her. She can see space. She just needs to straighten. The Red Roses are looking lethal. Big pass. Oh, what a pass! Breach goes out to Dow, and that is a lovely finish by the England backs. They are running riot now here at Ashton Gate. They have come out on fire in this second half titles with them along the way in the PWR. Alex Back Callender. up! Tui Pilotti. Seems to have settled now in that front row. A lot of discussion Ball about which She's position she was going to end up in. Use it! So many phases worked through now by Wales. England Back quite up. happy to defend. Huge hit coming in there. Galligan comes from offside, Bevan is off, still Bevan, Bevan scores! It's a Wales try! That impact on the bench has come through, look, you see Cecilia Tuipilotu involved in one of the carries, and Kira Bevan, one of the most experienced players on the field, takes that quick tap, shows her agility. Thank you, George, lining this one up, bread and butter for her. Hunt to Bottomen. Bottomen pushing on. Cecilia Tuipilotto again. This is just going from team to team. No one wants to hold on to it. Heard. Gallagher's going to fire through. Rosie Gallagher, who has absolutely adored her opportunity today here at Ashton Gate, goes over for her try. Rosie Gallagher's also won a couple of turnovers today, so, so far a good day at the office. No problem with that one, as England go over the 40. Welsh ball. Holding on to it now, driving on is Karis Cox. But it's turned over ball there. Here comes Feynati, she straightens. Huge tackles coming in by Wales. This ball in this second half, not always connecting for either side. It's a little bit more loose. Tatiana Her can see Meg Jones is there. Spins it out to Ellie Kildun. She can't go over again. Yes, she can. Oh, my goodness. Is that going to be given? That is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Talk about awareness of where the sideline is. The strength, the power to hold off the two players. Look, she's keeping hold of that ball. She knows she's got to get it down and somehow dives but stays in and grounds. Amazing. Conversion there coming in by Aitchison. Not to be, but England closing in on that 50. That is exactly what they do. It is an English day at Ashton Gate. Arguably, you have to say, 
Wales could have got a bit more out of that fixture. They didn't quite have the rub of the green in the first half in particular. But another eight tries for the Red Roses. England immaculate then. Eight tries in total. They take the match 46 points to 10.